Hello everyone, my name is Sister Dominic and I'm very happy to be here with you today to look at the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We're going to have a very unusual gospel in some ways today, but we're going to look at it in two parts. So before we do, let's invite the Holy Spirit into our minds and our hearts. And so we pray. Come Holy Spirit. Lord, be on my mind and on my lips and in my heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. John said to Jesus, Master, we saw a man who is not one of us casting out devils in your name. And because he was not one of us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said, you must not stop him. No one who works a miracle in my name is likely to speak evil of me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. If anyone gives you a cup of water to drink just because you belong to Christ, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. But anyone who is an obstacle to bring down one of these little ones who have faith would be better thrown into the sea with a great millstone round his neck. And if your hand should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than to have two hands and go to hell, into the fire that cannot be put out. And if your foot should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye should cause you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of heaven with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell where their worm does not die, nor their fire go out. Ooh, today's gospel is an interesting one, isn't it? Let's have a look at the first part first. Do you remember last week in our gospel, the disciples were arguing who was the greatest and one said, oh, oh, I'm the best, I'm the best. And the other said, no, I'm far greater than you. And the other said, no, I'm the best. And then Jesus heard them and asked them what they were arguing about. And they were kind of a little bit ashamed because they knew they shouldn't have been arguing about that. And in today's gospel, it's a little bit the same. The disciples saw people who were doing things in the name of Jesus. And what do you think they were feeling? Hmm, I think they were a little bit jealous because you see the disciples were the special ones. They were Jesus's friends. And here there were people doing things in the name of Jesus. So they went to Jesus and John said, Teacher, Master, there are people who are doing the same things that we're doing in your name. And I think he kind of expected Jesus to tell them to stop. Have you ever been in school and your teacher has asked you to do a job, but somebody else gets there before you and you go, teacher, teacher, you asked me to do that job and now Timmy's doing it. And your teacher kind of goes, well, that's, that's okay because the job was still done. Hmm. I think Jesus was teaching his disciples the same lesson as last week. Not to be jealous, not to be looking to be the greatest all the time. And then Jesus says something really important. If anyone gives you a cup of water to drink, just because you belong to Christ, to me, I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. So any little thing we do in the name of Jesus, God sees that and he's very pleased with it. So if he sees us doing a little thing, God is very pleased with that. And if he sees somebody else doing a little thing with great love, God is very pleased with that too. Now we come to the second part of our gospel, 
Oh, this is the hard part. Jesus talks about cutting off hands and cutting off feet and tearing out eyes. That's a bit gross. And then he's talking about hell, and that's a bit scary. But I wonder, does Jesus really want us to cut off our hands or to cut off our feet or to gouge out our eyes? I don't think so. I don't think so. So what's Jesus saying? Well, he's saying that sin is so bad and it's so weird. You know, the more we sin, the more we want to sin. Let's take an example. Supposing your mum left her purse on the table and it's open and you can see there's some money in it and it's been a really hot day and you'd love an ice cream, but your mum doesn't seem to be in very good mood. So, you know, if you ask her for an ice cream, she might say no, but her money is just there. So you could take a pound and you could go and get some ice cream. Hmm. But you're kind of saying to yourself, maybe that's not a good thing to do because that's stealing, but you do it anyway. And then a week later, mum leaves her purse there. And this time you don't feel so bad about doing it because you got away with it last time. And maybe later on in the month, your mum leaves her purse there again and you didn't get caught the last two times and your conscience isn't telling you that it's so bad because this way you don't get your mum cross by asking for ice cream. So you take a little bit more money and you see how it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, Jesus is saying that if we don't sin in the first place or if we stop the temptation in the first place, well, then we don't have to worry because it doesn't get bigger and bigger. When Jesus says, cut it off, it's a little bit like your mum saying, cut it out. You know, when you have a fight with your brother or sister and your mum shouts in the door, cut it out, you two. Well, Jesus is kind of saying the same. He's saying, if we stop sinning or if we don't listen to temptation the first time, then it'll be easier for us to not do it the second time or the third time or the 77th time, if you're like me. So we need Jesus's help. What do we take from today's gospel? Any little thing we do, God sees and God loves us for us. And if we want to be like him, well, as soon as we're tempted, we need to stop straight away and ask for his help. And so let us pray. We pray, Lord, that you will come into our hearts and any little good that we do this week, that we do it out of love for you. And Lord Jesus, when we are tempted, help us come into our hearts right at that moment so that we can walk away from temptation and be with you forever in heaven. Amen.